Okay, so let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which is 0 to the n, 1 to the n, 2 to the m, 3 to the n, where n and m are at least 0. I forgot to put the such that here. So we should note here that n and m are at both at least 0, but there's no correlation between them. So they're, they don't have to be equal or one bigger than the other or anything. They're just arbitrary. And notice that the n's here, corresponding to 0 and 1, are all on the left side, and the m's are completely on the right side. And because we know from over here that n and m have no relation to each other whatsoever, we can somewhat decompose the problem into this problem involving the zeros and ones and this problem involving the twos and threes. So what we could do then is to have a variable I'm going to call x1 make the zero and one part and another variable called x2 to make the two and three part. Well, they're essentially the same idea because there's no relation between an n and m, and it's just changing characters because the essential structure is unchanged. However, anything that x1 makes, whatever we do it, uh, has to be before whatever x2 makes via concatenation. So let's figure out what x1 makes. So x1 has to make 0 to the n, 1 to the n, and that should be fairly easy to do at this point. So 0 on the front, then recursively go in, and then a 1 on the end, or empty. And then x2 is going to be exactly the same idea, but with uh, x2 and 2 and 3 as the terminals instead of 0 and 1. And then how do we combine these together? Well, we can just follow the picture because x1 goes first, x2 goes second. So then my start variable, which I'm going to always call s in any grammar I make, is going to be s, which is going to produce anything that x1 can make, and then x2, whatever x2 can make. So whatever x1 makes, concatenated with whatever x2 makes. And so therefore, this is a grammar for this particular language.